Oh hey there, so a few months ago a random guy stole my bag in a co-working space in Medellin, Colombia. I lost $7,000 in an instant. And I was news around the city and also in the digital nomad community to a point that some people donated to help me. So today, let me share you the whole story and also some tips on how to secure your gear before travel. Coffee is ready, let's go. Okay, so I started the year in Medellin and I also spent the New Year's Eve there. It was a pretty cool party at Selena. And this is the second time that I've been in the city. Last time it was around three years ago and I spent two months and a half there and I checked, you know, like the whole coffee scene, the vibe, the people. At that time I wrote a blog post for, for my Spanish community. And now that I have a YouTube channel, I want to make a film for every city that I go to with this digital nomad mindset. So I wanted to do that in Medellin. And I was traveling in Central America, so my next stop was Medellin, that's why I ended up at that time. So everything changed just for me on one day, that it was the Thursday, January 30th, because that day there was a meetup uh, in a co-working space. It was just a digital nomad meetup that they do every week. It started from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and I wanted to work a little bit beforehand. So I brought my computer and also brought the camera because I wanted to shoot the whole event. And I was sitting down in a corner of the coffee shop, like a very, very corner bottom. I was there with my uh, girlfriend at the time and we were just working a little bit. And when some friends started to show up, I took the camera and started shooting here and there. And I remember like there was once that I took the camera outside of the co-working spot and like put the tripod and started talking to the camera. And I think that's when, you know, they started checking, oh, this guy has this big camera, this guy might have something, no? Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why. Actually, I have a story I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> That's like the last story of the stuff that I have. And it was just before the whole event started, I was just sitting down in that spot. And when, you, as I said, some friends started to show up. So, you know, I packed everything in my bag. There were both bags in this place in the corner. So for five, 10 minutes, like it just went away, 10 meters away, started talking to some friends. She went back to, to me and said, hey, like, uh, where's your bag? And I was like, what? What were you talking about? So I just came back to the spot and my bag was gone. Like only mine, not her, which is very interesting. Like only my stuff. So people already checked me and they knew what I had. And I was like, damn, like, is this, like well, what should I do? So the first thing it was uh, as the manager of the co-working, which turned out it was the owner of the co-working. And, Tell him this whole situation, and he said they had some cameras that record the whole place. So we went to the whole, the room where they had the cameras, and they started checking the time, just like yeah, 30 minutes before, and that's when the footage came. You see, like, it, there was people around and this guy just pretended that he was calling. He was just waiting for the right moment to take my back and leave. But anyway, I was just, like shocked, like, holy shit, like, this is real. Someone stole everything that I have, like, what, what should I do? And the very first thing that I did, it was use the Find My, uh, this is app on all your devices. You can track everything that you have, even the Apple Watch, everything is trackable when you have Wi-Fi. So I just, you know, open the, the app and I also have the footage there, you can see that the Mac was tracked just like uh, 20 minutes later after I realized and it was already like 400 meters away. So, but it was just on one point of time. So, and the, and there, there was Wi-Fi. Maybe he just tracked, uh, maybe he found it one of the coffee shops around. That's why that was the last spot. If it would be like a trackable, like they're still moving, that I could go with the police or something. But it was the last point that it was tracked and it was impossible to, to, to track it anymore. So the next step was call the police and they show up like five minutes later with this motorbike and explain the whole situation. So they say, okay, let's go around and if we find something, I will let you know. And I also did the same, you know, like just started walking around because it was a park in front. So maybe 
you know, the, the thief is like, I don't know, very confident and, and maybe thought that he could drink something after what he did. I don't know. I just went around and maybe find something, but no, like it was, it, it was lost. And that's when I realized that I, after that, like police can do anything. There's no tracking and yeah, my stuff was gone. Just let's wrap up the night. <laughs> and that's what I did. If we check what I lost, it was around $7,000 because it was a MacBook Pro 13 inches 2016 with a touch bar. My camera was a Canon EOS R with the new lens RF 11-22 millimeters, AirPods Pro, portable charger from Muffy that I just bought last week, and my backpack, which is an Airgo. So the whole thing summing it, it up, it was around $7,000. It was a lot of money. And okay, for the next day, well, I went to the police and I claimed that I was stolen and all the stuff. And I have here the papers, you know, they, they gave me all these print things for what, what we talk. And it's just like, you yeah, ask me what happened, the facts, like what I'm telling to you right now is what's it's in here. Will it work? Well, it's been like three, four months and I haven't had any news back but it was the right thing to do, supposedly. When I realized that no one can find the guy, well, the next step was try to find, you know, like my insurance to help me to get some money back. And I called my credit cards and I did the whole process. I also claimed uh, what happened and they just sent me back an information. I'll show you the email here. It's in Spanish, but what they say is that, no, we cannot do anything because we don't cover if your things are stolen, like you're not taking care of <coughs> But also the next day, well, my girlfriend, she uh, opened up like a GoFundMe project when uh, she said the whole thing, like the, like I got stolen like tons of money and basically all my digital nomad gear, what I used to work and also shoot. And if somebody wants to help, there's this website. Yeah, like at the beginning, I didn't like that because I don't like to ask money, but uh, it was needed because I lost a lot. and. Yeah, I gotta thank her because without her, without her doing this, like, you wouldn't get all this support. It was, I'm actually happy and also a little bit shocked, like, how many people supported me. Like, these people, they care, people they watch. So, thank you if you want one of them. And yeah, like, we raised around, well, it was in British pounds because from uh, the UK, but it was 812 pounds, which is around a thousand dollars on that time because after Corona, it's even more. And I have this phone, which the iPhone 11 Pro has a very good quality. So I started shooting uh, like the rest of the, uh, the content with the iPhone. It was pretty nice like to get to know how to use it. And, like I didn't want to give up and I, don't, I didn't want the thief to beat me. So I like, I want to finish my content. So I started using the 11 Pro. And yeah, I will make the whole video about living in Medellin. Like it will, you'll see the link here once it's live. But also there's another friend, she saw what happened and she had a Canon 77D, like she landed it to me and also make some videos uh, of Medellin on that content. And I also went to a Selena in Finlandia. They have like a small coffee area that I wanted to make a video about coffee because I love it. Also gonna see the link there once it's live. And yeah, that's the whole story. I uh, finished the videos. I'm gonna edit them and publish the video soon. And I went back to Toledo, Ohio. And um, with a few days after the fundraising and saving some money and having some money that my family also lent me, I have everything back. You can see now, here's my MacBook. It was just released two weeks ago and I was waiting for this one for so many days. So finally Apple released it. And I I just bought it and I only had it like this is the first day actually I've had it and so far it's been good I'm gonna make a review I'm gonna check the link later about it also with the GoFundMe project like gonna tell them this how I spend the money but basically a thousand is not that much for the things that I have because it was seven thousand so I use it for the ticket I use it for the like a little bit for the computer because computer is also very expensive and the camera the lens is also very expensive and yeah with all this craziness that happened to me what I learned some things and that's what I want to show you right now I want to give you some tips on how to be prepared against any theft before traveling so the very first thing is that pay everything with your credit card if you don't have a credit card get a credit card because they will help you like well in my case they didn't help me because I actually leave the things unattended but they can help you you know like what if it's just like a something online that you can back it up like 
there's always something that I they could do. It's, it's better to always pay everything with the credit card because there's also like a record of everything that you have. And yeah, it can it can help you. The other one is to activate the Find Me on all your Apple devices. And it's, of course, it's only Apple oriented, but maybe Android and Windows also have it too. I don't know. But with the Apple devices, this there's this app that it can connect all your devices. My Apple Watch, the computer, the iPad, the iPhone. Like if someone stole my iPhone, it will be trackable because the Wi-Fi is for the 4G, so it will be easier to find it. But the problem is it was the computer and it just had Wi-Fi for here and there, but actually this new one, they updated it with the new T2 chip, which I'm, if maybe I'm not corrected that well. And now it will help like all the devices around, they're gonna help you track it. And you can add the Apple Care for all your devices, but I would recommend for your iPhone add the add-on of the theft loss. So if someone steals your phone, at least, and you you gonna find it back with the Find My. Well, at least the Apple Care will will take care of that, and you just pay a small fee to get a new phone. So just get that. And talking about tracking, this is another thing that I would recommend. This is this small device called Tile. It's a trackable device that you can uh, use it with your Bluetooth, and I think also Wi-Fi, and you can find all your things around. So what I'm gonna do it's now with my backpack, I'll just put this Tile inside there. And if someone wants to, to to take it, like on my phone, I will get the notification, like where is it? Oh, I, I, I tried to find it or something like that. So get it. And also, I think Apple's gonna release one soon. It's called the AirTags. We don't not we're not for sure if it's a real thing, but it happened. I'll I'll update the links and I put that there if you wanna check and register all your products. Like it's good to to have track of them. Yeah, for example, the camera. You go to Canon and you go to the website and you register with the serial number because that's what they asked me on the police station. All my computer devices also, they all register. So I can find a way to, you know, like maybe if somebody wants to sell it, the, uh, you can, and maybe you find the guy who's selling it and it's yours, you can back it up with your serial number. You say, I registered this product, it's actually mine, so I won't stole it, so I don't know. And the last thing is for your travel insurance, make sure that you have electronics. Uh, as an add-on so I use safety wing and they don't have it right now so therefore they couldn't uh, help me with that case but I talked with the guys and they are gonna release these add-ons soon so if you're seeing this video and maybe it's already there I'll just check the descriptions and I'll tell you the whole information so I still recommend safety wing because they they, they are my favorite travel insurance and if now if they add the electronics it will be even better so what I'm saying is that it was a lot of my fault and also a little bit of bad luck and I still like Medellin, I like the whole vibe and people and I enjoy the time that I spent there minus that last day and if I go back I will go to the same co-working and just say hi to everyone. But yeah, talking about that, like I, gotta, I gotta thank everyone who supported me, all those words and because it was, it was a little bit annoying, right? But at the end, it was just material stuff. Like I can also get it back, which you can see now locally added. Anyway, what I'm saying is that travel is amazing. We just gotta be careful. Things can happen anywhere, anywhere. So just be safe. Get those tips that I tell you, get everything prepared and good luck. I'll see you around the world. Ciao. Thank you.